Hi, John Garber, the master of disaster here. I'm still in Nashville, Tennessee, with a good friend of ours, John Matizetti from SNC Square. You may have heard the name, you may have seen it on Fox Business, some of the other um, business journals, CRN, because uh, John was at Ground Zero in Joplin, Missouri earlier this year when it was pretty much leveled by uh, an F5, EF5 tornado. That's correct. Um, John has learned some very valuable things as a technology professional like myself and as a business leader. I've asked John to be on the Master of Disaster and share with us some, some ideas for business leaders to think about. So John, thanks for being on the Master of Disaster. Thank you for having me. Um, John, we were talking before, could you just break it down and maybe share the top three things that a business leader needs to think about before a disaster strikes? Well, absolutely. The biggest thing that you, I mean, is hope and wish and I should have is not a business plan, it's not a disaster plan, and that's not what works. Secondly, you've got to prepare for this stuff. Things have got to be in place before you have a disaster. Whatever that takes, whether you have to have backups, whether you have to have some sort of solution or services for the recovery, etc. Right. Right. And the big thing is everybody will have a disaster. No matter what it is, at one point the timer will run out on you and you're going to have a disaster. And again, you can't be wishing and hoping and praying that everything's going to work. But things have to be in place beforehand and they need to actually be working. It's like we say on the master disaster, failing to plan is planning to fail. And, and it's funny because we're in a room of people from literally all over the world. Uh, technology professionals from all over this country and Australia and England. And here's the funny thing, every region they come from has a disaster. Absolutely correct. So we get hurricanes in South Florida, John gets tornadoes and without warning, We've got people that have suffered ice storms, flooding, wildfires, earthquakes. They all have a story to tell. And the story either has a happy ending, like John's, because John was very prepared with data backup and systems in place to get his clients back up in about 72 hours, just about. Correct. We got actually all of our clients. We lost half of our clients. We had them all up in 72 hours. They could all build, proceed with business as usual in 72 hours. And that was absolutely unheard of. And you weren't thinking about an, an F5 tornado beforehand, but you knew this is best practices, right. we've got to have a business continuity in place for our data side, and then we help our clients, and a lot of people in our, our organization do, with other things they need to think about, having out-of-state call trees, doing video inventories, how to make an insurance claim. These are all subjects that I've done workshop videos on here on the Master of Disaster. I'm going to relink them below so you can refer to them. Well, John, you watch the Master of Disaster? Absolutely. All right. Would you help me close the show? You got it. All right. One, One two, three. What, what would you, you do, do if Godzilla, Godzilla stepped on, on your, your business? business? Well, you better call the man, John Montezetti. Thanks so much, John. Thank you. Take care. Bye.